Hi, my name is Pedro Lopez, and I run the Human Computer Integration Lab at the University of Chicago. Today, we have two very exciting papers to share with you. These are coming out at the WIST Conference 2024. The first one is by Jazz Brooks, who's here and is also on the job market, and is a new device that you can already see me wearing that transforms, it alters the way I feel how much volume of air I inhale when I do that. Right now it's off, so I feel like just the normal type of breathing. But what we found out is that we can actually transform the way you feel the breathing. If you notice, there's an LED here. It goes on. What this device is actually doing is that it's heating up my nasal cavity, the inside of my nose, with these little two white devices. These are thermal elements that heat up or cool down my nasal cavity, the skin of my nose. And we found out that when we do that in inhalation, in the sink with the breath, it feels like really easy to breathe, or if we warm it up, really hard to breathe. And so this is a completely different way. It does not require any mechanical device. This is not any mechanical constriction of air. It's not puffing, puffing air with fans or anything like that. This is really just an illusion that alters the way I, br I breathe. We use this for all kinds of applications from meditation to virtual reality. And that's the one I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to... Device, Jazz is going to turn this device on and it's also going to put me in a virtual reality that you can see over here on the screen. All right. So right now my breathing is kind of normal. And as you will see, I'm in this room trying to escape. I'm going to grab this key. And I have the key now. I feel like it's harder to breathe now. What's actually happening is the device is heating up the inside of my nose. It's an illusion, but I still fall for it, though I've tried this a bunch of times with jazz before. I'm going to try to find the exit. There's a door here, and this key is going to fit. And when I walk through the door, jazz is switching the device onto cooling mode. And now it's kind of like being outside. And the extra cooling fools my brain into thinking that my nose is actually cooling faster. And that's the illusion that we're leveraging here to give an interactive device the sensation. You see that it's blue now. That blue means it's in cooling mode. To give my brain the sensation that I'm actually inhaling more volume of air. You can try this at ACM WIST, so we highly invite you to come and try it out. All right, the next demo that I want to share with you is one that really goes into the deep roots of our lab. We've been working for a number of years, almost 10 now, on electrical muscle stimulation. One of our students, our new student, Yoon, is here to demonstrate what traditional muscle stimulation looks like. People have to roll up their sleeves, they patch all these kinds of electrodes on their body, lots of cabling, and then Yoon is going to control my wrist with her computer. Computer-controlled muscle stimulation from the forearm, very traditional, this is how we normally do it. However, for a number of applications, this is not practical. You know, asking people to roll up their sleeves, to wear these clunky electrodes on their forearm is just a place where we normally do not have interactive devices. My former postdoc, Akifumi Takahashi, together with PhD student Yudai Tanaka, who is also here, also PhD student Chen Yuan Tang, who is also here, um, Alan Chen, and amazing um, uh, high schooler Arshi Tamhane, um, created a whole new device, and they've engineered both the software and the hardware of it, which is this one. This is a smartwatch that offers a much more practical way to do muscle stimulation. It looks ordinary from your perspective, but uh, Yudai is actually going to touch on one of the buttons over there that says more, and my finger is going to move. Go for it, Yudai. There you go. Let's try it again. So this device, you can feel free to open it up, this device packs all the hardware in a practical form factor that allows you to do electrical muscle stimulation. I could be playing virtual reality just as I did now, and all of a sudden I'd be getting haptic feedback, pu force feedback, pushing my finger back from this device. So in the back side of it, you have 12 electrodes, and in each of these black boxes, there's all the circuitry needed to do electrical muscle stimulation, including Bluetooth that talks to this Samsung smartwatch, but also batteries, everything else. This is work that we did uh, also in collaboration with Sony. These are the papers that you can see, read on our website, come see the talks at WIST, and try the demos out, including this one. So I'll see you at the conference.